Our issue is when that child leaves your detention facility and goes to that sponsor and you have the sponsor sign an agreement, who's responsible for enforcing that agreement? Who's responsible for ensuring that that kid gets to his or her court proceeding? Who's, who's, who's in charge? Has anyone lost their license or have you removed children from any of these facilities? I would have to get back to you on whether anyone has lost their license because I had a state, state question. We have absolutely removed every child from a facility where there was a credible allegation of abuse. There are lost children, clearly. I, I can't believe that you would think that because you don't know where 1,500 were under a, in a three-month period between October and December of last year, and you do know that a couple dozen of these kids actually ran away from their sponsors, that there are no lost children. Of course there are lost children. And that's the whole point here. You know, no one's responsible. There is a huge network in every single state because you know what the states do? They take their responsibility for having children in their care seriously. Do you want responsibility for these kids after they leave? Do you want to have the ability to um, uh, uh, do site visits and make sure that they attend the hearings and make sure that they're followed up on? Do you want that authority?